Hi YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to be continuing our tutorial on how to get an auto-tune effect in Logic using only stock plugins. In part one, we went over the pitch correction plugin. Today in part two, we're going to be going over the flex pitch feature. So I split this video into two parts because it was getting a little bit long and I also ran into a little bit of a technical difficulty which I'll explain through in the first couple minutes of this video. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy. Without further ado, here we go. All right, so I had to pause there for a moment because I ran into a little bit of a technical difficulty which I'll go into in just a moment. We're going to move into part two of the video which is going to be on flex pitch. So. If you are only interested in just throwing a quick plugin on there and getting pretty tuned vocals, then pitch correction is all you need. However, if you want to go in deeper and do fine tuning of specific notes to be able to change the format or the sound of a syllable, make something go from more of an ah to more of an e or an o, oh, um, you can use something called flex pitch. So the technical difficulty I ran into here is I had uh, closed my pitch correction plugin. Um, continued filming and I tried to turn on flex pitch and what happened is these samples are from an 83 tempo uh, project so what happened was as soon as I turned flex on it analyzed the audio and shrunk it down so that it matched the tempo of the session so once we're working with flex we have to keep in mind to make sure everything is working right within the session so the way that I'm going to fix that is I'm going to select our two samples, um, cut them using Command X. I'm going to go into the tempo of the files, set it to 83. We're going to go paste these back in, line them up. This one ends on a measure. And let's double check to make sure that's all good. As in you can see now the tempo is lined up with the song so I got everything all set now we are ready to turn on flex so I'm gonna double click my sample here to bring it open you can either click this button or use command F to turn on flex we're gonna go in and turn on flex pitch so what's happened is logic has analyzed this file it has read through what it thinks the notes are. I just did it on the instrumental. So now we're going to do that again on this track. And we're actually going to turn flex off on the instrumental because we don't want it to do any kind of processing. We don't want any latency from it trying to understand the instrumental. So now you can see what's happening is we're getting almost a kind of MIDI, we get a piano roll of an analyzed pitch of our vocal track. So we can see our first note here is a G. I'm going to do command U to bring the cycle back on here. That's the first note. So for every single uh, note, syllable, word in our track, we can go through and do fine tuning adjustments. So I'm going to zoom in onto, let's take this note here. Uh, actually, let's find a little bit of a longer one so that we can hear it. Here's a good one. Blaring, blaring. The word blaring. So let's zoom in a bit more here and look at our six parameters. So parameter one is the drift. This is going to be how aggressively we're transitioning from the last note to the new note. We can take that down and have a more gradual slope, or we can take it up and have it really jump to the next note. Our second parameter is fine pitch. I'm actually gonna use this on the note before a little bit. We're gonna bring it down. We're going to bring this one down a little closer to zero. Well, it doesn't need to be too precise. That's when you're, if you set everything to zero right on the grid, that's when you're getting into that um, zero response time, kind of T-Pain, really robotic. Uh, just for the sake of this example, you can see we can drag it up or down. 
our third parameter is gain. So if we want to make, say, a certain syllable sound way louder or way softer, we can take up or down the gain on that individual note. Let's take it way up and just make it super distorted, just for example. There that does not sound good. So we want to take our gain. Let's put that back to where it was. Our fourth parameter is vibrato. This is going to be how wavy it sounds. So this line is tracing exactly where it is. We've got our bars here and we can shorten or lengthen them just like a MIDI note in the piano roll. But this is exactly what flex pitch is analyzing the pitch to be. We can use our vibrato tool to make that more or less warbly. So if we take it all the way down, we can make it really flat sounding. Blaring. If we take the vibrato up a bunch, it's going to sound really kind of warbly and kind of all over the place, right? We're going to leave that at 100%. That's the original value. Our fifth parameter is pitch drift. This is exactly the same as this one. However, it is for the other directions on the way out. So we could take our pitch drift down or up to have a more gradual transition to the next note. You can see that was a really quick one because we, we moved back the incline using pitch drift. Our final parameter is formant shift. This is going to change the sound of the note. Let's put it super crazy high, just for an example. Bleh. Bleh. It turned it more into an eh syllable. If we take it down a ton, Bleh. Bleh. let's take this one down too so that you can hear it over a few notes. Bleh. You can get kind of like almost a black bear sort of really EDM kind of vocal chop stuff going on by messing around with the formant shift. Let's do just these two up a bunch. You can get, yeah, you can really do a lot of interesting creative stuff by messing with these settings. You can fine tune and precisely edit the pitch of your notes. And basically, you can scrub through. You can fix anything that's really problematic. Um, you can see here we've got a pretty aggressive dip on this last note in the song. Maybe we would want to come in here and see if we can make that sound a little bit better. Maybe let's take our pitch drift down a little bit. Let's pitch it up. Let's uh, flatten it up a bit. Pull our pitch drift up a bit here, pitch this guy down a little bit, take our pitch drift up, see if that makes it sound a little bit better. Looks like I dip up a little bit here, so we're going to bring that down because that's way kind of in the middle of two pitches. All right, I fixed it a little bit too much. We got into robot voice. If you want to spend the time and go in, you can really um, fine tune and fix stuff up. So Melodyne is much better for this kind of grid editing. It's going to sound a lot more natural and be a lot smoother of a workflow if you want to spend the money. However, for free, this is pretty good at what it does. I mostly use it if um, there's something really bad that kind of the pitch correction isn't hitting in the way I want. If the pitch correction is sounding a little too robotic on some notes, you can come in and fix them in here. And then maybe the pitch correction plugin isn't going to hit it quite as hard. So with a combination of our plugin as well as flex pitch for fine tuning, that's how you're going to 
be able to have nice pitched vocals. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and subscribe for more Logic Pro 10 videos. Uh, the next video is going to be a walkthrough of my stock plugin uh, vocal template over in our channel effects that we saw earlier. I'm going to go through what each of these plugins does, why I use them, all my settings, as well as what you might do to change those settings um, depending on what type of voice you have. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.